Necrobiasis lipoidica, Wikipedia article audio. Necrobiasis lipoidica is a necrotizing skin condition that usually occurs in patients with diabetes mellitus but can also be associated with rheumatoid arthritis. In the former case it may be called Necrobiasis lipoidica diabeticorum. NLD occurs in approximately 0.3% of the diabetic population, with the majority of sufferers being women. Signs and Symptoms Pathophysiology Diagnosis Treatment The severity or control of diabetes in an individual does not affect who will or will not get NLD. Better maintenance of diabetes after being diagnosed with NLD will not change how quickly the NLD will resolve. NL slash NLD most frequently appears on the patient's shins, often on both legs, although it may also occur on forearms, hands, trunk, and, rarely, nipple, penis, and surgical sites. The lesions are often asymptomatic but may become tender and ulcerate when injured. The first symptom of NL is often a bruised appearance that is not necessarily associated with a known injury. The extent to which NL is inherited is unknown. NLD appears as a hardened, raised area of the skin. The center of the affected area usually has a yellowish tint while the area surrounding it is a dark pink. It is possible for the affected area to spread or turn into an open sore. When this happens the patient is at greater risk of developing ulcers. If an injury to the skin occurs on the affected area, it may not heal properly or it will leave a dark scar. Although the exact cause of this condition is not known, it is an inflammatory disorder characterized by collagen degeneration, combined with a granulomatous response. It always involves the dermis diffusely, and sometimes also involves the deeper fat layer. Commonly, dermal blood vessels are thickened. It can be precipitated by local trauma though it often occurs without any injury. NL is diagnosed by a skin biopsy, demonstrating superficial and deep perivascular and interstitial mixed inflammatory cell infiltrate in the dermis and subcutis, as well as necrotizing vasculitis with adjacent necrobiasis and necrosis of adnexal structures. Areas of necrobiasis are often more extensive and less well-defined than in granuloma annulari. Presence of lipid in necrobiotic areas may be demonstrated by Sudan stains. Cholesterol clefts, fibrin, and mucin may also be present in areas of necrobiasis. Depending on the severity of the necrobiasis, certain cell types may be more predominant. When a lesion is in its early stages, neutrophils may be present, whereas in later stages of development lymphocytes and histiocytes may be more predominant. There is no clearly defined cure for necrobiasis. NLD may be treated with PUVA therapy and improved therapeutic control. Although there are some techniques that can be used to diminish the signs of necrobiasis such as low-dose aspirin orally, a steroid cream or injection into the affected area, this process may be effective for only a small percentage of those treated.